Hi, Raja. Thank you so much Hi. for joining us today on Between the Sheets. We're very excited to talk about your book, Scissors and Glue. Just mm-hmm. an introduction for everybody watching. Uh, a little bit about Raja. Raja Day is a Kolkata-based photographer and has been working on a project on his home and his lost roots in Bangladesh, erstwhile East Pakistan. He attended the Angkor Photo Festival workshop in 2019 under the mentorship of Catherine Koenig and Sadia Mariam. Day likes taking photos of things people would not ordinarily spare a second glance at. Um so without wasting more time uh, let's just get into looking at the book and have you guide us through it you have like you know your anecdote in the beginning where you talk about mm-hmm. um, you know your relationship with your grandfather and how mm-hmm. he you know would recount these stories to you in the afternoons um so na- as a natural uh, progression you start you start the book from here um mm-hmm. and then you know you kind of go in but what i did notice is that when you start pulling apart the book from you know various sections while it yes. gets while it's a bit lighter in this section when i start folding the book say outwardly so say you know in parts like this mm-hmm. um i almost feel like the images get a lot more satirical in a way and also darker that even though like they have this childlike quality they almost feel like there's so much more hidden behind these images than what the surface uh looks like so mm-hmm. um yeah i just want to ask you what 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 your editing process was like while while picking your imagery for the book okay so while picking the imagery of the books like Well, when I first started uh, shooting my family, it's like a uh, pretty tough for me. So, like, there was a lot of question why I shoot. So, it's so question coming from the family. Then I have no answer answer for them. Like, so why I am shooting this and all those kind of things. Like, then when I make the book and show them all, like, oh, okay, so this is the thing. Right. So. so There are still a lot of questions regarding the book because this is my first book. I am yeah. sure there was a lot of flaws in the book, but I tried to make it like uh, to bring it like how I can try my best to give it to the shot to the book and like to make this thing. Yeah, yeah, and also it comes in like you know this case you know which you have to like open out and then it mm-hmm. it reveals. um you know your little story in there which i'll just read uh i grew up in a joint family in the 90s and our wooden house was built in the late 80s so there was not much of a difference in age between me and our house uh my grandparents migrated to india during the 1964 east pakistan riots they didn't have any clear memory of their old house in bangladesh and i don't have any photographs of our old house in its entirety When I was a child me and my uncle used to make paper cutouts and make collages from our family albums Similarly I have tried to put these unknown pieces of memory together in this work Um so I I'm guessing it's the collages that were the starting point of you designing the book the way that you do Yeah uh, so the collages are the one of the main parts because if you see the name of the book it's like scissors and glue right so how can we make a collage right you can cut something from other part and just put it in a page or like anywhere like yeah. you can just assemble all those cutting parts and in a in a form of sign kind of a page or like a book anywhere else like like our old cut out diaries okay mm. so for me the concept is like uh, this is a family which is like they are coming from bangladesh to india in a new space they are rooted from there and come here and just settle down for rest of their life okay mm. so i think like uh, the collages and the and the family these two stories are like resonates with the with the structure of the book like their uprootment and like the collages come together 
I think this this sparks some kind of design that I think I tried in this book. Right, and you know, interestingly, actually, when you uh, fold it outwards, so the folds are not only accordion, right? Like they also like open up in 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 this. in a reverse accordion if you can call it that uh but it um, to me felt like i was building a building i was yes. constructing a building um and at the same time i was dismantling it as well and you talk about that you know you talk about uh an old home and a new home and mm. and and the dismantling of of an old home um yeah. but then rebuilding it into a new home where you know the family still is kind of is pretty much apart so it it's it's i think it's very telling of um of photo books as in general that they're not just flip books which with images mm-hmm. the the way that they kind of fold out also a speak uh a story so i think yeah i definitely feel like it was a building that i was unraveling as i was opening it up um so that's so. the mention the staircase part like so if you right. go staircase some kind of compartments are there you can see two or three compartments then you move from other staircase to up or down to see other compartments like so yeah so this is the like kind of things right 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 yeah and um, so did the body of work start out as prints or did you always kind of envision it as a book and you know what was your i mean did you have a, a sort of goal or vision for what you wanted this book to stir in people okay so uh the body of work started like i have working on this part like to from 2013 so uh, there's a lot of photographs and like so i also keep in my family events with my kodak every day and like all things so i have all those family photographs there so uh when the joint family broke down and i think it's around 2017 i just don't remember the year so uh what i so when they broke down and the, the old house like they got dem- the old house got demolished so i just so that sparks like i have to do some kind of thing right now so it's like a for me it's like a momentary uh repetition or like the reaction for me the immediate reaction of those mm-hmm. events so i think then let's make something let's just hold the memory together mm-hmm. because it's a it's a big family and like so and also for me i think uh the main events in the history also create some local impacts also and those local impacts creates the individual stories and mm-hmm. these individual stories do not always travel parallel with the main event right uh, they most of the time they reflect from it and mm-hmm. these stories are like they, they, they are trivial they have no connection they have no like i what to say uh, there's no value for the history i think for the main history right they are like some local histories and they are gone so mm. i think these photographs like for time stamp it's like when someone sees this book like uh, 40 mm. 60 or 100 years later if it was there so mm. so they will see the, how the time flows from one part to another so i think yeah. this is the thing mm mm-hmm. mm mm-hmm. So you also, uh, apart from wait, I just want to open that up. That uh, family photo. Yeah, it's like second part. Oh yeah, maybe maybe you can just open it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you want to read what's written underneath that? Okay. Okay. So it's written like that. Uh, I was a child back then. I only have faint memories of our home being set ablaze. I don't remember anything I saw in our way. That's what my father say when I ask him about the time they had to immigrate to India. Mm, yeah, yeah. So like it's so 
So when I start talking with this kind of things with, uh, with my father and my grandfather, so these are the two main characters I mm. collected all the stories from. So I like for them, for my father, he didn't uh, remember anything. Like it's like very faint memories. Mm. And for my grandfather, it's like uh, okay, so we have to do at that time that thing. Mm. 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 So it's. In 63 riots, it's like, it's the, the main, the, the, the event which sparks the riots, it's like December 23, December 27, 1963, it's like Prophet Muhammad's hair disappeared from Hazrat Bal's shrine in Srinagar, Sri, Sri India. Mm. So this incident sparked the communal riot and that spread through Kashmir to Bangladesh. Mm, 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 mm. This like at that time, like in 1963, late 1963, like so they in in January of 64, they just moved from there to India. Mm, 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 mm. Or then for my grandfather is like uh, so so there no need to that right. It's like right. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's also, um, you know, while that is kind of where uh, their story started, right? Like in terms of the the shift and it also kind Mm -hmm. of maybe uh, a a lot of like personal history is what kind of seeps through generations, right? Like now Mm -hmm. you carry that story within you. Uh, But what I find so uh, interesting about the book is that you can open it absolutely anywhere and exactly. memories spill out of it. Uh, exactly. Much like, because memories are not sequenced, right? Like they just kind of exactly. pull out at, uh, rather, you know, jump out at you um, mm-hmm. randomly when you don't expect them. And then suddenly there's like some sort of, you know, a trigger point and a, a memory comes to surface. Um, so I think, I think that's something that I noticed as well while looking through the book is that the memories are not sequenced, but the life still seems like it is, you know, yeah. uh, a sequence yeah. of events. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That trigger point for memory is like anything. It's like a smell, a, mm-hmm. a page, a pen, a watch, yeah. anything, anything you can see through. If I, so it's, for me, uh, it's my... So when I'm making the book, so I think like, so I don't need to put all the stories chronologically. Right. From start to end. From start Correct. to end. Correct. So, so that's why I put like, it's like some kind of like to place like collages, like it's here, yeah. it's there and you can connect first page to last page or like middle of anywhere. So, so it helps me to go through this process. Like for me, this is the first kind of practice to make a book. So I know how to how to bind bind up, but I don't want to a uh, hard bind it with like those strings attached with all the pages. I don't want because mm. it's don't connect with the story or like connect with the family because it's family story. So that's why it's a it's a loosely binded book. It's like you can right. hold it like in that, do anything with it. Yeah. What I was asking was uh, since it happens to be your first book. Um, did you have any certain challenges that you faced while making it? Or uh, even if you can talk about like, you know, your relationship with with photo books before making your own. Okay, so uh, my relationship with photo books, so not with photo books, like I have a lot of storybooks in my house. So mm. they are like, like picture kind of storybooks. Like there are a lot of pictures are there, not like photo books. So mm-hmm. I have seen a uh, lot of books in Shantani Kilkan in mm-hmm. Calcutta. So there are a lot of kind of books, like not only photo books. The the writers who create the books also they they are kind of interactive. So you can see through the the writing goes through the ups and downs of the book, the cuts and the folds are also there. So mm-hmm. that's what it, that's what inspired me to create a book like this and so I have a story like this so in my family so I think that connects a bit 
and also for the photo books, like I have seen some photo books of Alex Sword, William Eggleston, and so so there are large kind of pictures, right? They are larger yeah. than life, I think. Right. So, uh, so, so there's a, a big parity between these photographs and like that photograph. So I yeah. can't put this kind of work to those kind of photo books. They are like large. So, so I think, uh, so what I want to make, so I thought a lot about this book, so how it could be. So it's like, so I am going through a lot of uh, work education books, like when children make a book from cartoon folds, mm. like what they create in schools. So I have got a lot idea from them also, like from those worksheet books, like and like mm. those graph graph pages and all. Mm. So yeah, mm. so that's inspiration for me. Lovely. Lovely. And uh, yeah, uh, were there any challenges that you faced while you were making the book? Yeah, I have faced a lot of challenges. Like, uh, so I am, I have created a dummy of this book and then I have to send it for the print. Okay. Mm. So the printer, so I have printed it from uh, Hyderabad, the Pragati Press. Okay. So, mm. so there was a, there was a lovely person there. So he told me that why are you creating this kind of books? Please don't do it. Just mm-hmm. do it a simple, hard binded. Please don't do it. <laughs> so I, 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 I just told him why. No, no, it's it's pretty tough for us to create a proof of it. Then, then just to send you, so just take your time, and just do it. Just do it. I have no time limitation to create this book. So just right. do it and as slow as just just mm-hmm. do it for me. So it's also it's like a when you just see this part of this book, okay. So the other part. Mm. So he told me that just do one thing, just don't put pictures here. Okay, don't put pictures like this. Ah. Okay. So do this so people can see it easily. So mm. I say it. You can just no no no. I want it like so. There has to be a reason. So why mm. I do this kind of things? And also when I just uh, cut the cut a e four size page like this and I create a small book. I didn't have that dummy with me right now. It's a small this thing and just like paint and just paste the the pictures and just there's some straight lines for the text. So mm. to show like uh, this is the dummy. So so, mm-hmm. in, so first time when I print this the dummy, so it's like for me it's like a super exciting thing. Yeah. So I so I made a lot of mistakes when I create this. Um, a lot. So just one thing I can show you on. See this part. So pictures are like. Yeah. This is the this is not straight and this is straight, right? Correct, okay. correct. Okay, so what I first did is like to put all the pictures like straight from up to bottom. Okay. So when I fold it, it flips. So mm-hmm. then I have to manage like okay, I need to do this thing. Like I have to put it like upside down and upside then down. Have to create this exactly. So like for me, it's a big challenge to create this book. I don't know. I I have succeeded or not, but I have tried. Yeah, and I think that is. I mean, what it, what is uh, success? I guess it's it's being able to um, resonate with whoever is looking at the book, um, exactly. and being able to read. You know, apart from your own history, uh, maybe you know, pull out uh, some of their own. So, uh, yeah, okay. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, is there anything that I might have missed out on that you'd like to kind of uh, talk about? No, like, no, it's like for me, it's like uh, it's a big privilege for me like to get a chance to talk about my book. And so like when just like a Kamna, Kamna when like just writing, writing mail, like so like Zara seen this book and like she's like so, super excited about your book and 
she want to talk with the this book so like it's it it's really a privilege for me to get chance to and talking about this book thanks it's a big thanks from my side thank you family. thank you so much for talking about uh, you know i think like as artists um i think it, we create work in isolation right so exactly so during that period of time it's you're creating it alone but then when you put it out there into the universe you're like just taking this massive leap right um and um, i think i think that's that's always lovely to then talk to people about that leap that you have made so uh yeah uh, thank you thank you so much